Okay, we're in Checkpoint <clears throat> and we're looking for legal cases in here. So we're going to search Checkpoint today for legal cases. This is really weird how this works. <laughs> Just like everything with Checkpoint, it's really weird. It doesn't work like you would think it would work and it's not easy. So let me show you. It's easy if you know this one little trick. So I'm going to search for um, cases on tax fraud. Okay, I type this in here. I run a search. Okay, and I'm looking here. I'm not really seeing what looks like any cases, and I scroll all the way down. Nope, it's nowhere in here. I'm sure these are all very useful things, but it's not what I'm looking for cases. So there, it's just strange how this database is arranged. What you would do then, it's this is just showing editorial materials. If you wanted to see cases, you would click primary source materials, and there's your tax cases. And there's a ton of them in there. It's just hard to see them when you do your regular search. So all these are full cases. Click on this. There's your case right there. I would, if I was going to use this case, I would download it like this. I would click the export button. I would export it as a PDF. That's what I would do because it's hard to get back to things in Checkpoint and it's hard to save these URLs effectively. So <clears throat> I would export it if it's something you're going to have to refer back to. So let's go back here and just show you this again. Let's go. I'm going to click this federal button. This is sort of like the home button in uh, Checkpoint. Okay, so I search for something. I'll choose a different thing now. Let's try deferred compensation. And we'll just click here. Again, I'm looking for cases today involving this. Uh, when it comes up at first, it's really not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for cases. What you would do is click over here, primary source materials. It's just strange how it's it's arranged here, but primary source materials, and then it brings up the, the federal tax cases. And here's the, cat, the cases right here. And if you click on one of these, then you can export it here. And I export them as PDFs, but you can choose whatever you want to. However you want to export them, that's how I would do it. Okay, that's how you find cases in Checkpoint. It's a little strange, but that's how you do it. Run a search and then click on primary sources in the left and then you'll find the cases.